Uh, hello, it's Dr. Salva Chaudhry here from Australian Polyclinic. We're going to talk about uh, breathing uh, during rest and at exercise and what type of muscles that we use and uh, how does uh, the breathing capacity change during exercise. Uh, to go further, uh, we need to understand the muscles that are important, have important role in breathing. The most important muscle in breathing is diaphragm, which is uh, a muscle of uh, dome shaped and uh, it separates your chest cavity from abdominal cavity. When it contracts, it pulls your diaphragm downward, so it creates more space in your thoracic cavity and your lungs expand, which sucks air and hence the air move in during inspiration or breathing in. At rest, our diaphragm, when it relaxes, it resumes its dome shaped shape and uh, it pushes the contents of uh, thoracic cavity, increasing the pressure in there, squeezing the air out of the lungs, hence we breathe out. So this is what happened at rest. Our breathing rate is about uh, 10 to 12 uh, per minute and we're generally drawing about a half a liter of air with each breath, which give us what we call the breathing capacity of ventilation, minute ventilation capacity of uh, about uh, and five to six liters at rest. Now there are many other muscles which uh, are involved uh, or help us breathe when we exercise, when we need to increase our breathing capacity. Our breathing capacity can increase uh, tremendously from a baseline of uh, five, six liter to over a hundred liter per minute. To do that, we need to breathe harder, meaning drawing more air just like half a liter at rest, and we can increase that to up to three or four liters during peak exercise. We also increase our respiratory rate from about uh, in a 10 per minute to 40 plus, and that can help us achieve uh, breathing capacity of over 100 liter per minute. But doing that, we need more muscle, and this cannot be only performed by diaphragm. So those are what we call accessory muscle of breathing. The most important of them are intercostal muscle that sits between our ribs and our uh, rectus abdominal muscles or abs uh, or abdominal muscle which contracts and helps to breathe out and also some uh, baseline activity of neck muscles. Another important muscle called latissimus dorsi or wing muscles uh, along the shoulder girdle can also provide a significant boost, especially if your arms are fixed to something, and in that case, it helps us uh, breathe better, improving our lung capacity. If we talk about a bike ride uh, in, uh, in, a, in a sitting up comfortable position when we're just holding uh, the steering wheel or handle gently, we're not really using our latissimus dorsi muscle. But when we are riding on a hybrid bike, um, uh, our bent over position along with the using, uh, making our elbow and arm stationary makes us uh, make our latissimus dorsi work for our breathing and help us improve our uh, breathing capacity further as compared to sitting up position. Hence, uh, people who do road bike can have a better, uh, a, you know, a better uh, speed and stamina for uh, similar uh, workout and due to extra or better use of accessory muscles. Now there are a few exercises which you can do to improve the uh, improve the endurance of the respiratory muscles. As uh, I may have told you previously that we cannot really increase our breathing capacity but we can make our mu muscle uh, better uh, in a, in a better uh, coped and better uh, suited for strenuous exercise for longer if we train them in the right way. So in our next video we're going to talk about how we can improve our endurance of respiratory muscle uh, which will affect our endurance at exercise. Uh, if you would like to watch that video please um, uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, stay tuned.